apparently she got a stain on her dress and got really upset about it. I hope you get that stain out, Agnes. Holy Mary, Mother of God. <laughs> um, guys? I think I just caught a whale shark. Yes, I caught, uh, there she blows. I caught a whale shark. I'm telling you, it was this big. Holy sh- and I just fit that in my pocket like it was nothing. Um... Holy shit! Yes, I found a pearl! Could today- could today get any more perfect? Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh, damn it, not again. Uh, this happened one night after I met Wisp. Absolutely. Absolutely. Once again, I found him while trying to find a scorpion. I guess he appears up here then. Commonly. Yo, wait. Yoink. I said yoink. I said yoink. There we go. Hmm. It must be around the same place. Gotta clean up my island a bit. But that comes later.
no problem. Hmm. Let's go with something new this time. Now that suits me. Thank you, thank you, Wisp. I gotta go diving for uh, isopods. So, literally not even two minutes ago, I, oh god. So not even two minutes ago, I ended up catching a, um... Actually, hang on, let me check something real quick. Okay. So. Not even two minutes ago, I ended up catching a, um, Gigas Giant Clam, and I just caught another one. The absolute luck. Looking for that isopod right now. Wonder how much all of this would possibly sell for. Holy cow. Well, I am selling two Giga Giant Clams. So, I shouldn't be surprised. Who needs turnips? However long it takes me to find that isopod, this is a pretty decent way to make money. I just keep capturing critters and selling until I finally find that isopod. So, I just want to be real with you guys. A lot of people go for the whole, you know, selling turnips thing, but I am not that kind of person. The kind of person I am is the one who likes to make money my own way. Whether it be selling fruit, or deep sea critters, or rare bugs, or... I mean, people do all those things all the time, but like... Like, I just like making money my own way, and not the way that everyone else would expect you to. Well, not really expect you to, but the way everyone else commonly does it. So, if there are any people out there who are like, Oh, you know you can make a lot of money selling turnips. I do know this. I am aware of this. But that doesn't mean I'm going to. After all, this game is all about doing things your own way. So, like... I, I figured I, could, I might as well just explain that because... I kind of have my own way of thinking. So again, however long it takes me to find a not, not a Nautilus, a giant isopod, I will keep capturing and selling sea, deep sea critters in the meantime. I might as well make some profit off of it, considering this isopod apparently doesn't like to show up. So if I find it, I'll meet you guys then. Let me tell you, this thing is not easy to catch. It is a zigzaggy, zippy, zippity, zipping, zapping, chasey son of a bitch. No, really, this thing was actually kind of hard to catch. I had to, like, keep trying to cut it off. It's a little more harder to catch than a geekish giant clam, in my opinion. But, yeah! I got a giant isopod! It's a custodian of the sea! 
swap it. Bingo. So, looking at it now, I do believe I have just landed on a money island. Oh my god, the absolute luck.
I think that's a sign that I'm done here. So this morning, we've got some interesting items for sale. We have a plasma ball, a, t a turntable set, and a human figure uh, anatomy figure. Retro Stereo. I'll buy it. Cool. Ah, yes. Another spot for a money tree to grow. Now take out the shovel. Now let's go donate some things. Hey Blathers. Assess fossils. Da da da. T-Rex skull. Nice. Good old classic. Hoot hoot. I just love the way he says it. Hoot hoot. I'd say that the T-Rex is the 800 pound gorilla of the dinosaur world, but it likely weighed well over 9 tons. This fearsome chap is practically synonymous with the word dinosaur, and for good reason. At up, at up to 42 feet long with banana-sized teeth, it was one of the largest carnivores ever to walk the earth. Banana-sized teeth, that is a very interesting way to describe that. It's unclear how fast T-Rex was, since estimates vary wildly. I'm just relieved I will never have to escape one. Ooh. I mean, I'm pretty sure you can fly, but I, 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 I get ya. A parasaur tail. I don't think I've donated anything a parasaur before, but I imagine it would fly. Hootie hoo, paraso uh, para parasaurophilus. I like to think of it as the beast with the golden tones. You see, the three foot structure of hollow bone atop its head may have been an elaborate noisemaker. As I died in a feathered optimist and music fan, I like to think it serenaded the late Cretaceous. I have no idea what you just said. But, okay. Something about, uh. Paracella forafida forafida I imagine it was noisy. And I can stop thick. Why do these dinosaurs have to have such confusingly difficult names to pronounce? Why can't they just be simpler? The Akin- the Akinthostica. 
said to be one of the earliest amphibians, existed well before dinosaurs. Because they lived as fish not long before, they still had gills and very webbed hands. To toss away the life they knew and venture onto unknown, na unknown lands, they must have been very brave. Hmm. Does this still count as bravery if you have no understanding of what you're doing? That is a good question. Oh. I might as well donate these. Why, this is a whale shark. Hmm. The whale sh the mighty whale shark is the largest species of fish in the world with specimens up to 60 feet long. Unlike many of their kin in the shark family, whale sharks are non-violent, eating only plankton and such. They grow slowly and live long. They live long, relaxed lives of filter feeding and leisure in wa warm waters. So if you ever have to choose a fish as a roommate, you could do worse than the room than the whale shark, unless you can't swim. I actually have caught all of the current uh, deep sea critters I can catch at this moment. I can't really catch any more until October. Spotted guarding eel. The spotted garden eel is a small eel-shaped fish that loves to burrow in the sandy ocean floor. These silly things are known for popping their heads out of the sand to nibble on plankton drifting by. Some say this makes them look like plants sprouting in a garden, hence the name spotted garden eel. But I think they look more like prairie dogs peeking out of desert hidey holes. Prairie eels has a lovely ring, don't you think? It, it does! And then, the big one, the giant isopod. Growing up to nearly 20 inches, the sea-dwelling giant isopod is the world's largest cousin of the pill bug. 20 inches? 20 times as, as revolting, I say. Making matters worse for those of us who find the pill bug repulsive rather than cute, the giant isopod can swim shockingly fast and it's known for its voracious appetite. Yeah, no kidding. Um, see, uh, you guys probably have figured out that I, that I usually... I usually record whatever I catch and not the attempt of trying to catch it because I don't know if I'm always going to get something new or old. So I just wait until I've caught it. But the giant isopod was very was kind of hard to catch in the uh, ocean. I literally had to like try and cut uh, like try and cut off its path, and uh, I I could have tried to corner it, but it wasn't easy to do. So I just decided to try to cut off its path and slow. Like if you're not if you haven't dove uh, dove under the water, you can slowly swim to catch up to whatever you're chasing. But you will have to like time it just right so that. Um, when you dive, you're closer to the creature. It took a, well over a couple minutes to catch it. In fact, it's most happy when dining on the carcasses of animals that have sunk to the bottom of the sea. This behavior has earned a nickname, the vacuum cleaner of the deep. Why must nature play off such awful pranks on me? Now we can donate the rest of the fossils. Fossil. Da da da. I'm gonna have that. I'm gonna have that quote stuck in my head now. I don't even know what it means. Like I know what it. I know it's from Phineas and Ferb, but I don't know the context. Diplo tail tip. Well, that's okay. I can just sell it. Damn it! Wrong button. And I'm now a lockerist. Well, that makes this part go by a lot faster.
Oh. I thought I gave you an Ankylo tail before, but I guess not. The Ankylosaurus is complete. Yeah, I, I would have wanted to hear the facts, but I'm pretty... I, I think we are we all already know which one the Ankylosaurus is. Pretty sure it's the one where he had a spiked tail. Wait. I gave you a Diplo tail and you said the model was complete. And I gave you a Diplo chest and you're acting like it's a new fossil. Uh, okay. Uh, just in case, which one's the Diplo again? Oh yeah. Yeah, we, we've seen this before. Am I missing something? No, no, am, really, am I missing something? Because I just gave him a Diplo tail, and it was a new fossil. I'm very confused right now. Mammoth Torso. Mammoth is complete. Uh, remind me. Ah, Mammoths, the bad boys and girls of the ancient mam mammal world. So wooly, so unkempt. They are, of course, most famous for their size, which could be up to 13 tons for the largest males. But they were subject to no one's rules and some sheets were smaller than modern elephants. Scientists have pondered it for years. Were mammoths the coolest of all extinct species? Perhaps so. Nope, that'll be it. Let's take a visit to the uh, museum and see what we got so far. Dunkleosteus. A lot of One Piece fossils that we haven't found. You know, this really reminds me of the, um... These bugs and fish and everything? Whoa. We're just missing the head, or the skull. This really reminds me of the bugs, fish, and fossil system in uh, Starbound. Because you could catch those same things and put them together for your own collection. I am a Stegosaurus. Hey there, what you doing? Hi, do you live here? I just moved to the island. I'm Dina. And you're loyal? There's so much I don't know about this place, so I hope you won't mind if I ask your advice. Woo woo! It'd be good to have a friend here. Sorry, my cat's in the way of the TV. Hell yeah!
could today get any more perfect? I don't know. But that makes me happy. So, I can earn Nook Miles for doing something called Bulletin Board Benefit. Let's create a post. Hmm. What should I say? Actually, I'm going to try and plug in my, uh, my other keyboard. Sometimes it pays to have a uh, sometimes it pays to have a good spare USB keyboard. Picture this. Getting Nook Miles from Nook Incorporated the first time you write something on an island bulletin board. Keep using bulletin boards to communicate with everyone on the island. Yes, yes.